Previously on The Powers That Be. God, I could look at you for hours. Oh, please. My hips are enormous, my hair is hideous, and my ears, I don't even want to talk about my ears. This is your moment. You've become an extremely powerful and influential man now. You must enjoy it, sweetheart. You must, you must revel in it. It's a shame that you didn't grow up with somebody to tell you how beautiful you are. Because you are beautiful, Caitlin. You really are. Don't talk to me that way. It's entirely inappropriate, and I really must no, ask you to... No, hold on, we're ready. <laughs> you hear me, Bowman? Yeah, just a second. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. for a free Disney World vacation? Scratch it! Play the hidden surprise game at Burger King and win a vacation for four on Delta, the official airline of Walt Disney World, to Disney's 20th anniversary celebration. There's a grand prize of $100,000 and 200 vacations in all. Over 100 million instant prizes, including free food and cash. Every card can be a winner. The Burger King hidden surprise game. To win Burger King, Burger King now. Can you tell me where I can get cash with this? Um... Go down this way and you a make a right. A left. A cash? You know, the thing is, with that card, I don't know where. That's the problem. Looking for cash without MasterCard isn't exactly easy. And there's a corset store there. Now you go through that corset store, they don't buy. But with MasterCard, you can get cash just about anywhere at nearly 200,000 bank branches and 60,000 ATMs. So count on MasterCard and master the moment. Third row. He was in a new town looking for someone to love. They were looking for someone to blame. Now he'll be lucky if he can stay alive in the Keys, a world premiere movie Sunday. Oh! <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Good morning, Sophie. Hello. Oh, what's the matter? Whoop. Nothing. <laughs> Must have pulled a muscle in my back last night. Oh, yeah? <laughs> what were you and Maggie doing, rolling around on the floor? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Can you spare a muffin? Sure, help yourself. Oh, thanks. And while we're at it, Pop, thanks for everything. I mean, who would have thought I'd be living in such splendor? Who would have thought I'd even say the word? <laughs> <laughs> the pleasure is mine, Sophie. Could I just ask you one question, though? Mm -hmm. How come every roll of toilet paper in this house is folded into a little V at the end? I mean, am I supposed to make another V when I'm through? You know, is this one of those rules I'm supposed to know, like uh, I before E make a V after P? <laughs> Sophie, I, I'm sorry, I don't know. You have so much to learn. I'm off to work, Pop. All right, see you at the office. Yep. Margaret, you're up. Well, I thought we could have breakfast in bed. I fixed us a tray. Why? Does Charlotte die? <laughs> no, I 
I wanted to fix it myself. You see, I've uh, canceled all my early appointments. I was hoping that we could spend the morning in bed. Well, sweetie, what a nice idea, but I've got a terribly busy day. And after all, I'm not a senator. I can't take time off whenever I like. <laughs> Margaret, you know, I just can't stop thinking about last night. The, what happened was, was extraordinary. It certainly was. And do you know the paper scarcely mentioned it? What? What are you talking about? Well, I mean, wouldn't you think a, a senator getting a tribute like that from the president of the United States would merit more than two column inches? Before I send this to the cleaners, ma'am, what should I do about the velvet? What, the velvet? Yes, ma'am, there's a spot in the back where the velvet's worn down. <laughs> well, just take care of it. Strange, ma'am. Looks like the velvet was rubbed right off. <laughs> Some kind of back and forth friction. <laughs> Thank you, Charlotte. That would be all. Now, I'm no detective. <laughs> but it looks like carpet fiber on here. <laughs> Thank you for that forensic analysis, Charlotte. Now, just fix it. Right away, ma'am. I hope we didn't ruin the dress, but if we did, it was worth it. It certainly was. Are you sure you can't cancel your appointments this morning? Oh, darling, Bill, don't be silly. Hello, Mommy. Hello, Daddy. Oh, hello, Kate. Well, well. Oh, darling, what are you doing here so early? <laughs> so early in the morning, sweetheart. Well, you know, just came to visit, see how the dew was at the White House last night. Did you have a good time? Uh, Caitlin, did you swallow a hummingbird? She's helping me with something. Sophie? What could she want with Sophie? What is Sophie helping you with? What? Oh, uh, you know, she's helping me recognize Jewish people on sight. <laughs> Where is she? She's already left for the office. Thank you, Daddy. Bye, Mommy. Maybe if I'd carried her full term. <laughs> Oh, goodness, I've got to pick up Mimsy Mordner. It's our book club meeting today. I can't wait to see her new chin. It'd be so strange to see her with just the one. <laughs> Margaret, Margaret, now wait. I want to talk about what happened to us last night. Not just the sex, but, but the fun, the spontaneity, the romance. Oh, no, I mean, you can't expect that sort of thing to happen every day. I mean, it was the champagne. It was the excitement of the evening. But why can't we be more romantic? Well, Bill, we're as romantic as any couple we know. That doesn't make me feel any better. Oh, darling, this is what a 37-year marriage looks like. I pressed your tuck, sir. Afraid I couldn't save the shirt. The shirt? Now, I'm no animal expert. <laughs> it looks to me like the back of it was mulled by a puma. <laughs> You and Mrs. Powers are lucky to be alive, sir. <laughs> Morning, everyone. <laughs> Mail for me? Any calls? Anything I need to know? Well, that depends. Have you looked in the mirror today? Bradley, what is wrong with you? You look like one of those guys I avoid in the subway. No, no need for panic. I seem to be passing my biannual kidney stone. It to be so painful. How do you feel? I feel like I'm giving birth to Ernest Borgnine. in his desk. Will that help you? The entire bottle, maybe. Well, I'll get it for you. I don't need your help. I can find them myself. Can someone turn me around? I'll help you find the aspirin. Oh. Oh, thank God, thank God. Intermission. You mean it's gone? No, just a pit stop on the river of death. <laughs> Quick, let's find those aspirin before it's on the move again. So much stuff in here. A dress book, golf glove, pantyhose. Pantyhose? I don't believe it. Give me those. These are not my 
idea of nice pettiness. Jordan, you know what this means. Either the senator's having an affair, or his interest in women's clothing has gotten way out of hand. Look, he's seeing someone. How can this be? If the senator were having an affair, I would know about it. I know everything that goes on in this office. Looks like this one got past both of us. Well, someone has got to talk to him. I think I should be the one to do that. Okay, well, I'll get rid of these. No, no, that's evidence that I'll dispose of. Good enough. Because <laughs> it's on the move again! <laughs> oh, Jordan, I know I said not to panic. You've got to get someone on the phone now. Fine, who? I don't know, a urologist, plumber, <laughs> chimney sweep. <laughs> someone can get in little places and clean them out. <laughs> Caitlin, how'd it go with Theodore last night? The entire evening was a dismal failure. Oh, that's too bad. But Sophie, he called. Who he? Oh, that he. Ooh. <laughs> yes, he wants to see me. Just hearing his voice sets my whole body on fire. But I'm proud to report I hung off on him and I'm not going to see him ever. Good girl. No. <laughs> Don't you try to talk me out of it. I've made my decision. I'm going to live the rest of my life without any passion whatsoever. I'm going to channel my energies into needlepoint or kickboxing. <laughs> oh, God, I've got Haley's Comet in my pants. <laughs> Get in the cab. Is there anything I can do for you? A bullet right here. <laughs> Senator Power's office. Oh, Caitlin, it's for you. For me. Hello? How did you find me, you terrible man? Are you following me? <laughs> My hairdresser. He gets very snippy if I miss an appointment. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, Jordan, may I see you in my office for a moment, please? What a coincidence. I was just going to suggest that. <coughs> Hi, Daddy. There's no one on the phone I shouldn't be talking to. <laughs> Mr. Bowman, I'm not going to meet you tomorrow night or any other night. Fine. I'll take down the address, but there really isn't any point since I'm not going to be there. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. Is that a right or a left on Connecticut Avenue? <laughs> Jordan, do you have a copy of the latest budget committee report? I don't. But what I do have is this. What's that? I'm asking the questions here. What's that? Well, it looks like pantyhose. That's right. Pantyhose. I found them in here. But are they my pantyhose? I don't think so. <laughs> well, I can explain. You see, it's sort of what I wanted to talk to you about. These belong to Margaret. Margaret? <laughs> Please, you can come up with something better than that. No. no, no, no. You see, Margaret and I came by here last night after the White House. Wait a minute. Are you saying that you had sex with your wife? <laughs> what kind of man are you? <laughs> Jordan, I'm sorry, but something very unexpected happened last night between Margaret and me. I'm still reeling from it. Wait a second. Are you telling me that this is more than just a one-night stand? Well, maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. I, I don't really know. All I know is that I have invested 37 years in this marriage, and I think I ought to find out. And what do you expect me to do? Hang around in case it doesn't work out? No, no, no. That wouldn't be fair to you. You're damn right it wouldn't. <laughs> So take a good look at me, Senator, because you are never, ever going to lay eyes on me again. <laughs> Except around the office, but that's it, pal.
Margaret, I am not ready to forget about what happened last night. It's Bill. <laughs> Listen to me. I want a date with my wife tonight. Mm-hmm. Just be home at 7, and I'll take charge of everything. All right, 7.15. Why <laughs> it Mister, I'm taking you in. Marshal, isn't the fella entitled to a last meal? Folks everywhere are heading to McDonald's for the return of the Wild West. Cause for a limited time, you can rustle up the sassy two-fisted McRib, smothered in barbecue sauce on a fresh homestyle bun. Ma'am, that was mighty tasty. I'll need an order to go. What you yes, sir. want is what you get. At McDonald's today. <laughs> Don't you know it's not polite to talk with your mouth full? <laughs> Why should you change phone companies when you're perfectly happy with the one you've got? Sprint spokesperson. Volume discounts. So if you call a lot, it would be nuts to use anyone else. You have relatives in over 180 countries. Sprint lets you call them all direct. Phone cards, even in Braille. Sprint didn't go down and leave a cabillion people stranded. Call now and you'll even get 100 minutes free. How many more reasons do you need? service. One reason we're the world's largest cruise line. Royal Caribbean, the grand resorts of the seven seas. Royal Caribbean. He was a spy who woke up and couldn't remember who he was. Who do you want to be? Where he'd been. Who the hell are you? <laughs> or what he'd done. I didn't kill her. But he knows their secrets and now they want him dead. What is this? Industrial espionage? I recommend we dispense with him. Alex MacArthur is a man on the run. James Coburn is the man who sets the rules. Do it. In a deadly game of cat and mouse, The Fifth Corner premieres Friday on NBC. Here, now, let me help you. <laughs> Steps begin right here. Oh, Bill, I can manage myself. No thanks to you. Oh, Margaret, I said that I was sorry. It was an accident. <laughs> I wouldn't have poked you in the eye with my elbow if you hadn't made me turn the lights off. Well, I certainly wasn't going to do it with them on. <laughs> Honestly, Bill, two adults slipping and sliding around in the shower. <laughs> and you know I hate showers. That's why I take baths. Barbie, we didn't go in there to get clean. <laughs> ah, forget about it. The evening starts now. Well, what's this? Well, I prepared a special dinner. I gave Charlotte the night off. <laughs> Charlotte! <laughs> Where on earth are you going? Clogging, ma'am. Does this look familiar? Well, wasn't Charlotte just wearing this? <laughs> Don't you remember our first date? That little Italian restaurant? Oh. oh, Bill, of course I do. Remember the movie we saw after dinner? <laughs> We're going to go see Roman Holiday. No, better. We're going to have one. Go ahead. Open it up. <gasps> Plane tickets? I've got the bags packed and in the car. The Concord leaves at midnight. We'll be in Rome for breakfast. But I'm insane about Rome! I know. <laughs> I booked a room at that little hotel overlooking the Borghese Garden. Oh, uh, so beautiful this time of year. And tomorrow night, dinner at Papa Giovanni's. Darling, do you remember our little table by the fountain? Done. Oh, Bill, you darling. 
Oh, this is so exciting. Well, Mimsy's going to drop her new chin when she hears about it. <laughs> uh, oh. Oh, Mimsy. Oh, no. We're co-chairing this hospital guild lunch, and tomorrow, Bill, she'll just kill me. And tomorrow night. Well, we've got that Kennedy Center thing. You know, we bought a whole table. They'll never miss no, us. No, hang on, Bill. Now, really, I cannot go this week. Um, maybe next week. Um, no, wait, I'm, I'm booked at the spa. And, and next month, I am so busy all month. Um, well, look, I'm sure I could go in the fall. Margaret, can't you just say to hell with it, I'm going? Of course you're right. I can't. I, I just can't be spontaneous on a moment's notice. <laughs> oh, I think you can. Now, I've been saving the best for last. Do you remember on our honeymoon where we went after Rome? Oh. The island. That's right. Oh. No phones, no restaurants, no people. Just no one around for oh. miles. Hmm. Nothing to do but just be together for one entire week. Just you and me. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. Of course, it doesn't have to be for a week. Well, yes, I mean, it, it could be a weekend. The travel agent said that they've been getting a lot of rain over oh, on that island. Yeah. Maybe you're right. Maybe, maybe the fall is a better time to go. And, and you know, Mimsy and Prentice could probably join us by then. Yes, and the Reynolds, oh, they're yes. great fun. <laughs> Good idea. Oh, darling, let's do it. Definitely. Oh, Bill, lovely. Oh, my. What a wonderful <laughs> idea. <laughs> There's still no answer at Bradley's apartment. I'm sorry, I can't hear you with that outfit on. <laughs> well, I just hope he's okay. I hate to think of him curled up in a corner, writhing in pain. Good morning. No, no, don't run away. I just want to be your friend. <laughs> Bradley, hi. Sophie's, Jordan's, I love you all so much. <laughs> I want you to have this. I saw it in the hall. I thought it looked so good on your desk. Thank you, Bradley. Are you all right? Who did this to the floor? <laughs> Bradley, did you pass the kidney stone? Oh, I haven't the faintest idea. My doctor gave me these wonderful pains for the pills. <laughs> I'm sorry, I meant to say these wonderful pains for the pills. Bradley, how are you feeling? One minute, Senator, because I love this song. <laughs> I'm gonna go get the senator to sign these letters. Keep an eye on him. But, yeah, but don't linger. I can see behind me. <laughs> I have a lot of paperwork for you today, sir. Can it wait? No, sir. Coffee this morning, sir? That'd be very nice, Jordan. You can get it after you sign the farm bill, sir. <laughs> Jordan, I don't blame you for being angry with me, but can't we be civil with one another? Of course we can. I was once a civil servant. How are you? Fine, thank you. And you? Fine. May I have your signature, sir? Jordan, please. More civility? Very well. And how is the family, sir? Little Pierce? <laughs> that adorable Moppet. <laughs> and Mrs. Powers, is she well? Is she exciting? 
Jordan. Is she as exciting as I am? Is she as inventive as limber? Jordan, that is enough. <laughs> no, it's enough. You weren't saying that's enough when you were running into the cold shoulder at home, when my arms were the only things keeping you warm. Look, you have every right to be angry, but I had to find out if there was a chance for Margaret and me to find what was missing in our marriage. And how did your little treasure hunt go? <laughs> I'm afraid it didn't work out quite the way I hoped it would. It didn't? Just isn't there anymore for us. You know, I've been thinking. Now, I'd be the last person to criticize Mrs. Power. She's a wonderful woman, but it's such a shame that she can no longer give you the things you need, the tenderness, the warmth, the passion. Jordan, what exactly are you saying? What I'm saying, sweetheart, is this is where I came in. <laughs> Check under your hood, sir. <laughs> If I had a choice, I wouldn't get them. My second choice, a fast cure. I hate vaginal yeast infections, but I get them over and over. Well, my doctor said a woman should first see a doctor for an initial diagnosis. After that, use gynolotrimin. She said it starts working fast to help bring your infection under control. Gynolotrimin is her choice now. And my choice, I still wouldn't get them. But when I do, I want a fast cure. Gynolotrimin, make your choice a fast cure. Most eye doctors agree, dry, irritated eyes should be treated, and doctors agree, dry, irritated eyes can be effectively treated with soothing, cooling Visine Extra. Visine gets the red out. A new American cheese snack idea. Grill it up and slice it up so little fingers can pick it up. Cut it up, fun it up, guaranteed they'll eat it up. Mm. American cheese. Kids are up for it anytime. Hi, I'm Sharon Stone. I'm hosting Saturday Night Live. No, no way. way! Yes, it's true. No, when we say no way, you're supposed to say way. So spank me. <laughs> Later tonight, the wait is over. Sisters returns to NBC with the first of four provocative all-new episodes. Tonight, Frankie faces a woman's greatest heartache. Share the passion, the pain, and the triumphs of an all-new Sisters tonight. And Sunday night, NBC presents a powerful world premiere movie, The Keys, Sunday.